I've just now got to bend this wire frame into a rough shape for when I start going. Obviously the metal's bendy so I can bend it as I'm putting the clay on it, uh, but it's always nice to get a good start. If you want to see how I uh, do this in a bit more depth, there's a video of me making an Anglo-Saxon sculpture, an Anglo-Saxon king, uh, further down in my videos. I'll put it in the description. Then after I do this, all I've got to do is start adding the clay, which I'm going to heat up in the box. So now I've got the uh, clay model finished off, I'm gonna stand this up on here and do as much of the sculpting as I can or stand the up like last time because uh, it just helps my back not, uh, not want to like ache or hurt. And uh, I think any time you can save yourself from being hurt while doing something like this, it's worth it. So I'm just going to make a couple of little shelf, quick shelf type things like we did last time. So much like the other sculpture, I have to build this up in pieces and then assemble it afterwards because I can't wrap wood all the way around and expect to be able to pull it off this form because it will be, you know, <laughs> encased inside the wood. So what I have to do is try and build up 
this side here, this is my first plan, so the arm, like this side of the chest, this side of the legs and the tunic, and then the bottom of this leg, and just try and make a piece that can kind of slot on there. This bit already kind of slots on there. Uh, and as you can see, it's got this kind of nice little curve in it. So we've already got a bit that slots on, which makes this a lot easier, because then this goes back to kind of the original place where I wanted it to be in the first place. So we're just going to work on this side and then pull it off and then start working on the back side after that, I think. Hey. One of the main problems I find with doing something new like this, anytime you explore something new, uh, is that you, you're going to be bad at it. And you might have built up some skill previously in some other facet of the same thing. Um, but then when you step outside of that a little bit, you're probably not going to be very good at this new thing. And that can be quite disheartening when you've already kind of established yourself in another way. So um, I, it's quite hard to get used to. But then I guess you have to keep telling yourself that, uh, you know, if you're struggling a bit, then you're probably improving. Uh, but, you know, some days it feels like you are, sometimes it feels like you're not. Um, I don't know. It, it uh, sort of goes up and down quite a lot. But uh, we'll see how this turns out. Then, uh, then <laughs> I guess... I'll reserve my judgment for the end um, and just see how it goes but for now we're just gonna keep building up the back and go around this arm and then after that we're gonna build the front part uh, and then I think most of it will be made we can put it all together um, obviously I'll do the legs as well and then I'll make the head separately and the shield separately and the axe separately and uh, then we can put them all together on the final guy but I just want to get the frame of the guy done first then we can add all the other stuff afterwards I don't know what that loud noise is I think it's a plane So I've got this split into four different kind of sections now. I have one sort of panel coming down here at the front. I have one coming around the back here and down this back of this leg. I have one down the front again and down the front of this leg and the front of this leg. And then I have this little bit on the arm because I didn't know how to attach that to the others without it coming apart. 
So my plan right now is to pull these four pieces off, glue them all together, then create the other pieces, i.e. the head and the kind of chest area, build those together, build the axle as one piece, and then build the shield in there as well. And then after that, I'm gonna glue them all together into one coherent piece, and then we're gonna make a base. But first of all, we need to get these bits off, and I think some of them are kind of glued onto the clay, so I have to try and pull them off the clay. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Oh dear. Hey, not entirely bad. So what I've got to do now is I've got this little tab that I've made here. It's going to stick to the inside of the shirt there. And that'll be the head in the right place. Then after that, once the head's glued on there, I'm going to add all these little wispy bits of wood heading out the back to make it look like there's movement in the hair as the guy's kind of rushing forwards. Then after that, I need to make the axe drill a hole in his hand and put the axe through that and then I've got to make the shield which should be relatively easy and glue that to the front of his hand then it's just a few more little touches before we go on to mounting the uh, bottom of his foot to a, some kind of base or or plinth or something I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet but we'll see so let's uh, let's get the head attached on there I was thinking about taking the easy way out with this and just using a dowel for the axe handle and then attaching wood chips for the head but I think because I've gone with it so far I'm just going to keep going with the wood chips 
and just see what kind of stuff I can make with it. So let's try and make the axe handle and the head with wood chips and then do the same with the shield and then add some arrows that are made of wood chips to the shield as well. So, I mean, we started in a difficult way. We might as well try and finish in a difficult way. So the sculpture is mostly done, but I have a few more little bits I want to add to it. And I need to lodge a bit of wood in the bottom there so that it has a, a firm way to kind of hold on to the base or to slot into the base from there. And then I want to add a few little arrows coming from the shield, maybe one or two, just to show that, um, you know, he's kind of like been taking some arrows on the shield, uh, which may seem a little bit cliche, but I think it will look interesting. Uh, and then when I've done that, I want to take a photo of this and I want to figure out what kind of base I want. Because this is so light, I could have a really small base if I wanted to. Um, but I'm going to figure that out. I'm going to draw a few different shapes down, see which one I like the most. And then we're going to make that and put it in its base. Put some, uh, you know, some sealer or varnish or something on this. And uh, then it'll be done.
So as I attempt to attach these arrows, I just want to say thanks to my patrons for helping to support the channel. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. And a special thanks this week to Dan Taylor, who just joined at the Bendy Boy Society tier. So thanks a lot, Dan. Appreciate that. Uh, thank you very much for enjoying the videos, and I hope you enjoy all the stuff that I have to come. And right now, I need to try and get these arrows to attach to the shield, and then get the guy to attach to the plinth with this little uh, piece that I've made in here. That will then go inside the plinth after it's stuck onto him. So let's figure that out now. So you might have noticed that I wrote Winan on the bottom of the sculpture and that's what I've decided to name this piece. And Winan is an old English word which means to fight or to struggle. And uh, I think you'll agree that it's quite apt for this sculpture. Um, I don't normally look for the meaning within the stuff that I make. I don't think it always has to have a meaning but um, this time around, I, I kind of felt, because this is so fragile and it's so disjointed and made of lots of different pieces, it made me think of the history of the Saxons and how we don't have a huge amount of information, but the stuff we have, we've kind of had to piece together to get an idea of what life was like back then, and that's kind of what it makes me think about. Maybe you have a different thought on what you might think something like this would represent? Let me know in the comments, I'd like to hear about it. Anyway, thanks for coming guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's kind of a long one, but I, I quite like doing a long one so you can see the whole process. Lots more cool stuff to come. Uh, thanks for hanging out. If you liked the video, like it. If you didn't like it, tell me why and dislike it. And uh, hopefully I'll catch you again next time.